Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about must have applications to go along with Dash Studio. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And a huge thank you to my patrons and members. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can visit the Patreon in the description below, or you can just join the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. So the first piece of must have software that I would recommend you have is a piece of software called Cesium, which is basically an image compressor and it's ideal for JPEGs. You can simply drag your images into this interface. You can set your quality and you can change the size if you need to. So if you are manually oversampling, you can reduce your images to the correct size here and then you can simply output them there and hit compress. And that is ideal software for kind of making your games less bulky in size and also just making your renders smaller because Dash Studio's image compression is largely non-existent. So that's number one, that's Cesium. The next piece of must have software or rather the next must have place to go is TinyPNG. TinyPNG.com and the reason for that is that the Cesium doesn't really do PNG compression. So all you have to do is visit tinypng.com, upload 20 images, a maximum of five megabytes each, upload them like that, then hit the compress button and then you'll be able to download your images as a zip file and they'll be considerably smaller. And again, that's a really good way of smashing down the size of your renders and making your game files much, much smaller. The third piece of must have software, and I know a lot of people get fed up when I mention this, but it is Adobe Photoshop. I'm sorry to say it, but Adobe Photoshop is still the best piece of software for this kind of work. And it's the most feature rich. And for 10 bucks a month, you get Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom, which is another awesome piece of software. Great for cataloging your images and making adjustments to them as well. And you really can't beat it. And frankly, if you're not doing post work on your renders, you're selling yourself short because every render, even the most perfect, needs something doing to it, whether it be fixing a little bit of poke through or changing the color cast or something like that. The fourth piece of software is Hexagon. It's a free 3D modeling program that comes with Dash Studio. It is not the most reliable piece of software in the world. It does crash quite a bit, but for those people constantly spamming my channel saying about how they can't afford more expensive or advanced pieces of 3D modeling software, it's very basic. It's very easy to use and it will get you started with creating morphs and creating clothing items and pretty much anything else you can think of that you can do in a 3D modeling software. It does not, however, do animation. Another piece of software that I highly recommend that I wouldn't say necessarily is a must have, but it certainly makes life much easier is ZBrush. It is an expensive piece of software, so if you don't already own it, and you haven't got the money to buy it it's not something that you absolutely must have but it's really feature rich it's really incredible piece of modeling software that allow you to create some absolutely amazing morphs or characters so it's definitely worth looking if you're looking to spend some money on software and finally an honorable mention goes to marvelous designer which is another piece of software that is great for making clothing for your characters i don't actually have it so um I can't really give you a quick view of what the UI looks like, but it's really useful. You can pop your Genesis 8 or Genesis 3 or any Genesis character you want over into Marvelous Designer and then using sewing patterns, build items of clothing for them that are DeForce ready, send them back into Dash Studio and Bob's your uncle. And so it's a really awesome piece of software. Definitely worth a look in if you're interested in creating your own clothes. It does have a bit of a learning curve because some of the physics and 
the mechanics are a little bit mind boggling. I have used it, I just don't have it on this computer. Um, it's a really cool piece of software though, definitely worth a look in once again. So I hope you found these tips useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.